They should be split up. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is going to turn your world upside down. So the last question. Last but not least. For this week's Yawa, which I was super excited to answer this one. Mm. From uh, I will be back later. I'm going to get some coffee. From Monica Taylor, Yawa crate training. I have two pups from my own litter staying a little bit longer. I'm mm. trying to crate train them in the meantime. One thing I am a little lost on is if they start to cry just before they are supposed to be let out for breakfast, potty, example, they get out at 7 a.m. but start crying at 6.50 a.m. and don't stop, what do you do? Do you still let them out for breakfast and potty or do you wait until they stop crying even if it goes beyond the schedule of 7 a.m. let out time? They have been doing great, getting one potty break throughout the night and now crying until morning. Thanks, guys. Love your videos. What? Uh, does it say the age? No, just two puppies from a litter that are staying a little bit longer. So, you know, it sounds like either the rest of the litter mates have gone home. Probably or right some, around eight weeks or nine right weeks. Right around maybe. that, that crate training timing. So, a um, mm-hmm. couple of options. One, if your puppies are getting let out in the morning and you're both letting them out to potty, which that's the first thing that they're going to do coming out of a crate, but also getting breakfast right away. One thing you can try is pushing breakfast until a little bit later so that they aren't going, I want to wake up just a little bit earlier. Just like Christmas with kids. They're like, we don't sleep in on Christmas because we want to get up early and open presents. Well, Mm -hmm. puppies think of breakfast as Christmas and they're like, well, I don't want to sleep in because I want my food meow. Right meow. So if we can transition where they're getting their meal later in the morning instead of 7 a.m., getting it at 9 a.m., that way they won't wake up earlier and earlier and earlier. We see that with our adult dogs, too. Yeah, in expectation of breakfast coming. Um, The other side of it is puppies don't read clocks and tell time exactly. So if they're waking up a little early, whining, it's because they probably need to go out and go to the bathroom. And at that point when they've already been sleeping, you know, all night long, and it's not, I just put you in this crate. You need to settle down before I let you out. It's, oh, now you're letting me know you kind of got to go. And we want to build on success and help them have success and have better bladder control and no potty accidents. So if I hear some whining, it's a little earlier than I expected to let them out. I'm going to let them out, put them back in their crates after potty break, and then they get out again later before breakfast time. Yeah, and I would say the other side about that would be uh, with the dogs that we start this with here at the facility, they are, we typically begin this process, what, around six Six weeks weeks old? and. Which we have playlists on our YouTube channel showing how we raise and develop litters of puppies um, and starting crate training process with not only a litter of four, but also a litter of how many? Ten? Yeah, ten. Yeah, so uh, two different litters. We did the whole step by, and people are like, hey, you should do this with the next litter. I'm like, it's a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Taking care of the litter is a lot lot of work. work. Then videoing the whole process adds another level. So what I wanted to touch on with this specifically is when we're doing that, which is probably what you saw, which is why you're trying to start this with these little puppies. Um, When they're young, we keep them with a brother, sister, and a pair, all of these things. But if they are left over or still you know, waiting a little bit longer to be picked up, you should be splitting them up. Yes. Now, this is going to throw, if you you haven't already, because you didn't say specifically, it kind of sounded like they're still created together. They're sleeping great, whatever. But if they aren't split up already, they should be split up. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is going to turn your world upside down. I would guess they won't sleep as well. They won't sleep as long. They're going to not be used to being apart. And those are important things for them to start learning now. Otherwise, they can build too much attachment. This is a it's, it's an important part. It's called part. litter mate syndrome. Yeah. Is it really? It really is a thing. I just had an email about it today. Okay. So litter mate syndrome. Um, they also call in horses buddy sour, where they don't understand how to be apart from the other individual. And when you're riding horses or when you're trying to catch a horse or when you're trying to do those things, all of that is, it just, I mean, it's, it's attachment to the other creature and they are pack animals, but that pack needs to become the new people and or us and or something other than their brother and sister. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, 
they might as well just be a wild pack of dogs living out there doing their thing. I'm so separating them now, if they're over eight weeks old, because once they go home at eight weeks old, they're going to be separated anyway, mm-hmm. if they had gone home at that age. And so we're trying to start that process now when it's timely so that when they do go home to their new families, it's not puppies going home at 10 or 12 weeks old that have now been with a litter mate for an additional four or six weeks and becoming that much more ingrained and that much more bonded that it's going to be an even more difficult transition for their new families when those puppies have to be separated and go home and they've been for the last 16 weeks of their lives yeah. with a litter mate, at least one. Now, I would guess, I'm, I'm just guessing here, um, speaking from experience only, they're going to not be happy about this and as well as one or the other is waking the other up. So if you have them in separate crates, then you've got to get them both out, but you've got to keep them apart so they're not playing, they're actually pottying, and it may be better to move one crate to this end of the house and one crate to this end of the house so that they can't hear each other or any of the other things. And if one of them is the one pottying or needs potty, whatever, you can hopefully... Get, get that, that one, one out, out and not the other one and get them to continue to build and develop bladder um, control and conditioning that way so that they both get better at the paces that they need to be. So, yeah, which is why raising two puppies at the same time, especially litter mates, can be really difficult. It's a lot of work. Well, and it's really hard to separate them yes. because they're both going to need to potty at the same time. Yes. You're trying to do training sessions and one has to be crated while the other one's working on a training session. and. It just creates And we know a you're not of- keeping litter mates for the sake right. of keeping litter mates, but has anybody seen where the red fern grows? I mean, old Dan and little Ann, they spent too much time together. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a fictional piece of work, but... That stuff is true. <laughs> okay. But we do have a video on why litter mates are a difficult thing to do at the same time. And we have a lot of people that are like, no, I had litter mates and I absolutely loved it. Well, that is great that it worked out for you. But honestly, for the most part, most people struggle raising litter mates and have problems down the road when training starts. One has to be separated from the other and things like that happen. Um, And there's more issues um, that do arise throughout their lives. If you haven't seen that video, it's five reasons not to get litter mates. So you can search standing stone litter mates. It's the first one that pops up. So that was a great question. Hopefully we were able to help answer that a little bit for you. And I'm out of my pecan pies. And we're out of time. I'm the guy with the pink gun. I'm Kat the dog trainer. And we will see you in the next video.